If you're watching this video, you're probably interested in how to improve the confidence of dyslexics. My name is Jonathan Kemp. I'm a human intelligence entrepreneur and the creator of Smart Wisdom, the powerful next generation note taking and planning technique. I've spent the last 20 years helping people manage knowledge more effectively. I'm actually dyslexic myself, but I didn't actually know that until my late uh, 40s. But one of the challenges I face as someone with dyslexia is managing information. It's just the way my brain processes it. It just makes it a bit more difficult for me. And obviously within a study environment, that can be a real challenge as it can be with a, within a work environment. So an easy way that I could have improved my confidence over the years would have been to help me manage knowledge more effectively because society places a huge emphasis on that, as I've said, within the education environment and within the work environment. Now, if I have a challenge managing information and knowledge, that is going to impact me and it's going to impact my confidence. But the choices I had available, and I use the word had because I now have a solution, which I'm going to share with you. The choices I had available were I could either, when I was in a situation where I was listening to new information and I needed to really understand it, I can sit and listen. Well, that's going to be a problem straight off the bat because my short term memory is atrocious and my attention span is limited. And apparently that's quite consistent among those of us with dyslexia. Or I can sit and uh, take linear notes, you know, old, what I call old school note taking. 2000 year old technique, which basically is a recording technique, record now, use later. Or I can use a laptop, which essentially is the same 2000 year old technique, but I'm just typing instead of writing. Record now, use later. None of those help me with understanding information real time and being able to use it real time, which would have had a huge, huge beneficial uh, impact in terms of raising my confidence. So what I did was I actually created a, what I call a next generation note taking technique. And I'm going to explain to you some of the key elements of what a next generation note taking technique looks like and how it actually works. So the key thing about um, this type of technique is that um, it can, it's very easy to use. And it's all about being able to convert information into knowledge real time that can be used real time. So for example, I can go into a lecture, one hour lecture or one hour meeting, I get a really good understanding real time to the point that I can immediately leave that meeting or lecture, stand in front of a thousand people and tell them exactly what's just happened. And I have the confidence to be able to do that. And it's incredibly easy to do. So the trick is to have a technique that enables what I call um, deep filtering. So to identify just the key points, then what I call deep processing. So separate all the information into single units and reconnect it, which drives up the understanding. And then a dynamic management of that remaining knowledge. So you're able to categorize it, subcategorize it. You're able to spot questions, you're able to spot links. And then the fourth really important part of that jigsaw is being able to literally see the totality of a one hour um, of a one hour event. So one hour's worth of knowledge on one piece of paper and being able to read it and use it real time. So this is how the technique works. So the first step is the filtering. Now here I've got some knowledge. Um, there is a need to find one good approach to help improve understanding and to help increase the confidence. Now I am looking to filter out anything I don't need. Now we all might do this slightly differently, but the core information that is important to me here is need, probably one good um, approach, uh, improve understanding here. I don't need that and I'll take that. And I would take that. Now we all might do this slightly differently and that's completely normal. The key is the deep filtering. The next step is the deep processing. And what I mean by deep processing is breaking everything into single units and then reconnecting it. 
by going to that level of processing, what you're doing is you're checking your, your, you understand what's being said every moment of things being said. So here we go, need, uh, one good approach. Uh, where do we go? Improve understanding. and increase confidence. Um, I abbreviate words, uh, means I record faster and I don't have to worry about the spelling, which uh, is something I'm very pleased if I don't have to worry about it. Now, the important thing is by then uh, breaking it up, reconnecting, that drives up the understanding. You, you can see here I'm starting to manage the knowledge, so I recognize that these two elements distinctly come off this main heading here. Um, the reason this is so powerful is that straight away what's happening is that I am, rather than just, just recording, I'm processing that knowledge. And by doing it in this format, I'm increasing my understanding. Now, this has been tested by cognitive neuroscientists, and what it's found is that when somebody uses a next generation note-taking technique, their understanding will go above, the average on a complex meeting is about 64%. That's where most people are. Dyslexics, certainly for myself, I would have been probably down here somewhere. But within two weeks of learning this next generation type of technique, my understanding is going to go up 12%, so that's to about 76%. And after a year of using it, for those, people, for those of us with dyslexia, our understanding then goes up further to 23% above the original level. I mean, that is staggering. So that's where I end up. And because it's visually very accessible, so I find it easier myself, you know, to look at that at a glance and be able to see what there is, I can then actually use that real time. And it's that increased level of understanding that I know I can get whenever I go into a meeting um, or a presentation or a lecture. That just gives me huge, huge confidence. And to give you an example, so here is, um, it was about a one and a half hour presentation and I was able to fit it on one sheet of A5. That was it. And I am confident I have everything that I needed and that I understand everything that's there. It's an amazing feeling. So what I would say is if you have your own next generation note-taking technique, then please do start to, you know, please do use it um, as much as you can. I know from my experience, it makes a huge difference. Um, if you don't actually have a technique, then always feel free to come and join me as an information athlete and I'll welcome you to Smart Wisdom. Um, I hope you've liked this and if you have, uh, please press like. Obviously feel free to comment and if you know anybody with dyslexia or who's passionate about helping people with dyslexia, then please do feel free to share this worldwide. Thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic rest of the day. Ah, one final thing, if you want some more tips on how to manage information more effectively, then above, on the sides or down below, you'll find a link to a free tip sheet which I've put together for you. Thank you.